Hello and welcome to today's urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the very large drop that we are seeing to the downside right now on Bitcoin. I will be covering my trades for you so you can get into my thought process of how I am approaching this right now. Obviously, this is a higher term time frame level that we are coming into. Ever since the first short that I took at $69,000, we knew that this $23,000 zone that we are coming up to right now has been a very large target for a very long time. So I will be giving you my thought processes on this target, whether this level will actually hold or whether it will break and we'll see much further moves to the downside. Overall, this move has been very technical indeed. So I want to be covering a few of the reasons why we're seeing such a drop, what to be looking out for over the next few days and yeah, no, really how we're approaching this trade. So without further said ado, let's get into this. And I just want to give a bit of context where we're coming down to now. Obviously, it's currently trading at $24,000. $23,000, as I said, has been my target for a very long time here on the Bitcoin chart. I want to explain this and whether you actually, you know, whether I'm actually going to trade this level, because just because it's a target doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to trade it with the strength that we are currently seeing to the downside. I just want to check something really quickly. I'm actually trading this, but I'm not going to actively like long this without any sort of sign of strength. So we're actually just seeing the open interest decline. So cool. So yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on this basically because <laughs> I might want to jump into a trade at any moment. But overall, on the higher term time frame, what I want to show you here is okay, the context of when we put in that high at $69,000. Obviously, I'm sure many of you have seen this by now. But the way that we got that $69,000 high, remembering that high was put in at November 2021. Back in December 2020, one year in advance, we knew that the Fibonacci target was that $69,000 zone. So we, you know, you know, we're talking almost a year in advance, knew that $69,000 was that Fibonacci target. Also, we had some Fibonacci time coming in here. And obviously, as we approached that coming into the start of November, we had this really nice harmonic target. Also, the Elliott wave count, the Elliott wave count was a primary focus on this. We had a lot of things coming together. Fibonacci time, you know, Fibonacci extension targets from way into the future just hit 29,000, uh, sorry, 23,000, keeping my eye on this. We also had this harmonic target. Oh, baby. Yeah, this might be a little bit hard for me to do because I kind of want to trade this. Um, I also really want to get this update out because I just know that this is going to be really helpful for people. But uh, I'm keeping my eye on this. I'm not going to enter that long yet. <laughs> but <laughs> if I have to end this video, I'm going to end the video without a doubt. But um, anyway, yeah, bringing it back to this. E.g., we had a lot of reasons why $69,000 for us to hide. Obviously, from that, we did drop. And we were warning, you know, one of the earliest people, obviously, here you can see shorts all in and around $69,000. And obviously, back in November 21 last year, you know, I was making you all aware that, you know, this is the start of the bear market, how you want to trade that. You know, we were very early recognizing we're going to be entering a bear market. We're going to be seeing large moves to the downside from $69,000, $23,000 is the target. And, you know, just be ready for these you know, big moves to the downside, which obviously we got in the end. And you can see from the, the high at $69,000, we put in, you know, another two major highs. That was this high here at $52,000 and this high here at $47,000, $48,000. And each step of the way, you know, that we could have predicted these highs, the $69,000 high, then we come up and we took this high at $52,000 for that swing failure pattern. And then you will know the legendary harmonic call that we'd last done up to that $47,000, $48,000 zone, which was then the next high. So that is correctly called this high, this high, and this high, e.g. giving us the total bearish market structure down to where we're finally hitting now coming into $23,000. So if we zoom in a little bit here, add on our higher term time frame levels, we can see the way that we've just broken to the downside really stems off of the range that we were trading for the last two weeks. Okay, that range broke to the downside. We kind of got this where you can see, I'll just make this very clear. You can see the last low of the wick here, support, lost, flip to resistance, another move to the downside. Okay, that's what we can see has already happened here. No strength at all on any of this move to the downside. That was actually a lot of weakness. Okay, when you start to look at things such as the order flow, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to check the order flow again right now. I just don't want to miss a trade, to be honest with you. <clears throat> 
Okay, this is this is still good. I I still think we're going to go lower, so I'm pretty content with this. Um, yeah, obviously during this extended move to the downside, we did see continued weakness, um, and that what we're what we're talking about here of continued weakness is like this. So back on the tenth, so this was three days ago. What we were seeing was a lot of new shorts opening. You can see here the open interest massively increasing, 44 million new shorts, 30 million new shorts, and by recognizing that order flow, you have to think to yourself, this is a really strong move to the downside or as I said to my team, like a really powerful move to the long side, to the downside. And one does not really want to get into longs yet. Why? Because this is a really powerful, strong move to the downside. If you're trying to long, when there's a much power to the downside, the likelihood is you're going to get stopped out. So by reading the order flow and acknowledging just really simply the strength of the move to the downside, it really is aiding you to make that informed decision. E.g., let's say that you have a level where you want a long, and then you see this type of order flow going into the level, you're gonna not wanna take that long yet. You're gonna remain patient for lower. As you can see here, updated my team a few hours later, you know, patient, you know, got to remain patient for lower. And that was really just derived from the order flow, recognizing the weakness of that order flow and recognizing, hey, that means we've got to remain patient Okay, and then at 4 a.m., you can see here at 4 a.m., had my alerts going off that we were, you know, approaching this low. So we were approaching this low. And I really said to my team once again at 4 a.m., at the moment, I'm just going to remain in shorts. No longs for me yet. I do think we're still going to go lower. And that was once again just looking at the order flow really quickly. Literally woke up at 4 a.m., check, check the order flow, <laughs> saw there's zero signs of strength, and just saying to my team, hey, I'm just going to remain short. Let's, let's, let's wait for lower. And then once again at 9 30 a.m. this morning, just reminding my team, I'm not going to be longing Bitcoin. I'm just going to chill in shorts waiting for lower. Um, <laughs> when I close that $69,000 short, that's when the bottom's going to be in for Bitcoin. Um, but it's like, <clears throat> You can see my thought process throughout this kind of drop is, yeah, we've had like levels to the downside, but recognizing the order flow, recognizing like what is the highest probability in terms of the weakness, it, you know, it obviously has led to the downside. That's not to say that we haven't been able to take a few longs here on the way down. Obviously, if you're in into the trade quickly at a decent area, move that stop loss up to entry. You know, there are long scopes to be had here. Even like right now, you could have pretend. I, I haven't obviously. I've not taken this long. If this is the bottom, I've missed it. But you know, it's not to say there's obviously some people that are long in here. And if people can get into that trade quickly, do a quick take profit. Maybe they're trading like the CCTR strategy. If they're in and out relatively quickly, of course, there's profitable trades to be had even on these strong moves to the downside. But I'm approaching this in more of a calm, collected manner. I'm not going to take my long yet because we haven't hit my major target. I see no signs of strength. I see no reclaims. All I see is continued weakness in the chart. So if my target has not been hit and I'm seeing continued weakness, why would I long? Okay, that, that would be my question to you and you can try and understand the answer. I'm not going to long basically because we've not hit my targets. Um, and then the question of, am I definitely going to long $23,000? And the answer to this is, um, no, like there's no 100% definite, like I'm definitely going to long this. For example, if we come down to my level and I see continued weakness such as this, then I'm just going to remain patient. I'm just going to not take that long. And I will simply wait for a lower level in the chart where we start to see that strength come in. Again, you can only really judge that strength by looking at the order flow. It's not something you can predict per se. It's what you look at in the time live as it's happening. And that's how you judge strength and weakness. It's really just off of this order flow. Without this, you're trading blind, period. You, 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 yeah, you're trading blind. So um, yeah, I, I'll obviously have my alert set and ready and waiting for my larger term time frame targets. I'm not going to be scared to take that long just because we're moving down heavily. If I see what I want to see, I'm going to take that long without hesitation. Maybe it gets a bounce rejection and then comes down further and I take a stop loss. This is also okay, but I am not going to hesitate should I see that long opportunity form off of a target I've been waiting on for months and months and months, you know. So um, for me, this is a really, really key level. Of course, if we lose this, then we're going to be coming down to that, that low 20000 or maybe eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 for the next level. But uh, for me, this was just a really quick update that I wanted to give you how this has formed its market structure on the way down, how we've been able to time each high to the you know, each major high on this market, chart champions have timed and called. And then how this has led to, you know, in the local term market structure, continued weakness to the downside. You can only judge this from the order flow and how we are now coming down into my final big level, um, in my opinion, before we you know, if we break down to $20,000 or lower, this is like our last level of defense. Um, so I'll end with a really quick announcement. 
and that is that we got the World Series of Trading right now. So if you want to trade in the World Series of Trading with us, I will leave this in a comment down below. So you can come over here and follow the steps. Really simply, this is the new trading competition. You can come over here and join our team. Uh, we obviously have nearly 800 people in this team right now. So we got one of the biggest squads. So if you want to be part of pretty much the winning team right now, then um, you can come over and join the team. I will leave the instructions on how to join this in the comment section down below. Obviously, this is open for everybody. I recommend that you join um, because we're going to crush it. It's as simple as that. We're going to go for the win on this World Series of Trading competition. Uh, so that's the last announcement that I wanted to give you. I'm going to remain in shorts, chill, waiting for lower until I see a sign of strength, a reclaim, or coming down to my target with that once again SOS. So yeah, for me now, it's, it's like I said this morning, remaining patient, not going to long yet. Let's wait for lower. And you know, let's just uh, follow my lead. I've not been, let's just say I got a very good track record of calling these highs and lows. So, you know, you might want to take a, maybe a little bit of a listen to what I'm saying here. So thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I will say, um, yeah, just hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. We'll see if we come down, hit that target or go lower. Uh, I don't think this is the bottom. I think we're going to make a new low here. So we'll see if I'm right. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And of course, no financial advice, just talking about the uh, entertainment educational reasons only. Thank you and goodbye.